simple and fun. Can you ask for more? I don't think so. All you need, two colors of paint, a putty knife, water, water-based sealer. So let's do it. And here is our surface. It is a flea market save. Just wash it off with some warm water and soap, dish soap, base. You can use whatever shade of brown you want. These two colors I've used to mix are layered chocolate and vintage linen, both from DIY paint. You do not have to use that brand of paint. Like a medium color. I always start with a, a wet brush. I'm gonna put a second coat on here. Be sure you paint the lip as well, especially. and you don't want to risk scratching it because you haven't sealed it, and you just it doesn't need a whole lot of sanding. You can use a brown paper bag, and that's the same as I, about an 800. Now that my top surface is ready to start, I want the planks to be this wide. I like this width. I think it's, you know what, I'll just measure. Six inches, I think. Yes, this is six inch wide. So what I would do is like start here, and trace it and just go on that you could measure about right there. You put one edge against the end that helps to assure that you're it. And if it's flush all the way across, that's going to help you. A little artist brush into the layered chocolate. Now we get to the fun part. make this piece as like this is your board like you want to paint this board to look like it literally is a separate board from this I'm going to show you what to do if that happens blend a little bit so I'm going to spray it so right here I'm going to first thing I'm going to do is be sure I get paint over that I do want to finish like this you don't have to oh yes yes beautiful when and if you get um, a lot of water on your surface, like here, uh, you need to have a dry cloth nearby and using it to wipe off your putty knife at the end of each pass. But this is what makes it unique and what makes it look like reclaimed, like it's been on a barn somewhere or on someone's floor over the years. I'm gonna pull this off. Painter's tape, use painter's tape. I don't know about the duct tape, we'll see. Oh yeah, see, look at that, on. get the, my thumb off of it.
let you know you can't mess it up. Shoot. Yes. Like I said, I'm gonna take the tape off immediately. You can see the clay base here, how I can smush it in there. Okay, the paint is totally dry, and so I am using a, little, a paper bag, brown paper bag, to smooth the surface a little bit. It will not scratch it or blend the paint. If you have done that and it still feels like you need to sand it, you don't like the rough patches, then you can try a fine grit uh, sandpaper, at least 220, maybe 400. Lightly though, just lightly sort of dragging it over the top. And wipe it down with a dry cloth. Sealer. You can use any water-based sealer top coat type product. There are a ton of them out there. It's big top. Put it on with I use paint pixie brushes as well. I would love for you to subscribe, but really do that. <laughs> I will put the link where you can buy all the products that I'm using to make it easier for you to find it because you'll be like scraping and smushing and saying, mmm, this is good. What? What? Does the wood go this way? For the planks. Franks. Fake planks. Uh, oh, that's a spider. Ah!